Yo, what's going on, guys? Dude, <clears throat> I'm so not prepared for this stream. I totally did not know they were doing a Nintendo Direct today. So we're going to watch a Nintendo Direct, like, today. We're going to watch it now. And we're going to watch it, like, right right now, dude. We got, we got stuff to do. And then we're going to play some Mario Kart 8 afterwards. Yo, I'm so not prepared for this, dude. I, I got my stream stuff up here, dude. I, like, just woke up, dude. It's about to start, like, right now, dude. Holy crap, dude. I don't even have, like, my dual monitors, like, set up properly. Because I have Mario Kart on my fucking PC. I mean, my uh, Switch right now. Uh... Oh, here we go, dude. Here we go. Okay. Today, I would like to provide the latest like news the latest about the Pokemon news. Sword Pokemon and Pokemon Sword. Shield games. Pokemon Shield games. Begin. Hold on, I'm gonna switch my headphones. Hold on, guys. Okay. Oh, shit, okay. It looks a little cleaner. I don't know why. It looks a little cleaner than last time. I don't know why. Okay. Alright, that didn't look clean. That looked a little, like, crappy for a second. Oh, we getting copyrighted for this. <laughs> this looks cool. I mean, this looks like, it looks like Pokemon. It doesn't look like anything special. That's the thing, like... I feel like it's just, like, a port of, like, X and Y for the to the consoles. Like, hold on, guys. I'm going to look at the chat. I haven't even looked at chat yet. I'm totally late to this direct because I just woke up. All right. Environment looks sick. Okay. All right. What is that? Why does that? Why is that Gyarados so big? Wait a minute. Was that multiple people fighting one Gyarados? Was that a raid? Wait. What the? What? What? What am I looking at? What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is a giant Raichu, dude. What? Yo, he's dead. That's super effective, my boy. Wait, so she throws a Pokemon? What? Yeah, what's up with this? What is th this is wild, dude. So it's just about giant Pokemon fighting each other? Alright, he looked... He, his design was a little weird. Okay! I got mixed feelings about this. I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Hi, I'm Omori from Game Freak. The boy Masuda. What did you think of the video? Today, we would like to deliver the latest news on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield to all of you around the world, right here from Game Freak's offices where development is underway. Okay. This looks clean. The main character, who resides in the Galar region. After choosing Grookey, Scorbunny, or Sobble as your first... Hold on, I'm gonna check my chat from my phone or something. Fuck, how can I check my chat? Cause I, I don't have I don't have any of this prepared, dude. I didn't know the direct was today. Okay. Pokemon battles are the most popular form of entertainment in the Gala region. Stadiums across the Gala region are frequently filled with cheering crowds that have gathered to witness battles between gym leaders and challengers. 
The excitement of these battles is often broadcast on television in the Gala region as well. The most exciting part of visiting mm -hmm. a new region is, of course, encountering Pokémon that you've never seen before. To tell you more about some of the Pokémon that reside in the Gala region, I'd like to hand it over to James, the art director on these games. Hey, Jamie. All right. Yo, thanks, James. Hello. I'm James Turner from Game Freak. <laughs> Yo, thank God. <laughs> English. <laughs> thank God, James. Yo, shout out to James Turner, dude. Never before seen Pokemon that await you in the Gala region. But allow me to introduce you to just a few of them. The first Pokemon I'd like to show you is Wooloo. This Wooloo, she's cute. Characteristic is its fluffy fur, oh my God, I want this thing. In a town in the Gala region. Who use it to craft it's just a big old sheep. Specialty goods. This Pokemon here is Gossifleur, the flowering Pokemon. Gossifleur favors places with clean air and water, and its pollen is said to have healing properties. This next Pokemon is called Dreadnaw. The bite. Dreadnaw. The sharp and jagged edges of its jaw allow it to bite off chunks of rock and iron. Its vicious okay. nature makes it a difficult Pokemon to tame for all but the most experienced trainers. This Pokemon a new Pokemon design flying steadily through the sky. <laughs> that looks crazy. Corvinite. It Corvinite. To use when working as a flying taxi, which will take the player back to any town he or she has previously visited. As many of you already know, but that's a Pokemon you can get, though, right? He looked cool. He's edgy. Changing their appearance and becoming stronger in the process. Gossifleur is one of these Pokemon. When Gossifleur evolves, it becomes Eldegoss. Eldegoss. As you can see, okay. there are now small seeds scattered across its fuzzy head. Hmm. These seeds are said to promote growth. It gets an afro, dude. And revitalize both people and Pokemon. <laughs> That's all I can show you this time. There are lots more Pokemon living in the Gala region for you to discover. Of course, you can look forward to finding many Pokemon you're already familiar with. I okay. Hope you're as excited as we are to encounter the amazing variety of Pokemon that inhabit the Gala region. All right. Yo, chat. How you guys doing today, by the way? I haven't looked at chat even once. I, I, <laughs> lots of Pokemon is one of the I probably shouldn't even stream today. And where you will find the widest variety of Pokemon out of anywhere in the Gala region is in a place called the Wild Area. The Wild this Area. How creative. The Wild Area stretches between cities and is filled with abundant nature as far as the eye can see. See, that looks empty. This looks dead. Where you are and what the weather is like, meaning there will be new discoveries for you each day. Some of you may oh, some not right about this game. While adventuring through this area, you have control over the camera, allowing you to better search for items and Pokémon. Search far and wide in the tall grass, in the skies Wait. above, and even in the lakes, for you never know what you might find. In certain so the Pokemon do appear in the wild? Uh, I'm, I'm confused. Giant in size and gives it incredible strength. This phenomenon is called Dynamaxing. Dynamaxing opens up new possibilities in the heated battles performed by trainers and their Pokemon. For more Dynamaxing? Details, I would like to turn it over to Iwal, the planning director for the games. Oh, Dynamaxing. Oh, this is where you get like a big ass Pokemon. Like, look out! I don't know. and the planning director for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Let me tell you more about the new Dynamax feature, which will surely bring about all new strategies to Pokemon battles. This is wild. Pokemon from the Gala region can Dynamax to not only become massive in size, but also boost their power. So this is literally just a. A simplified version of Mega Evolution? I don't know how I feel about this. 
once per battle. However, the Pokemon will revert to normal after three turns. So, you need to choose wisely when to trigger it. Mastering Dynamax okay. is the key to becoming a full-fledged Pokemon trainer in these games. Remember that wild area we told you about? If you connect to other players, you'll find more ways to play there. One of these new multiplayer features is called Max Raid Battles, in which four Pokemon trainers can join forces to challenge wild Pokemon. In Max Raid Battles, the wild Dynamax Pokemon keeps its giant form for the entire battle. Not only that, it also has special powers that make it an extremely formidable opponent. Only one of these four players who have teamed up for the Max Raid Battle will be able to Dynamax their Pokemon in each battle. So coordinating with your team will be crucial when taking on these powerful wild Pokemon. Interesting. I do like that. I do like the concept. That's cool. To emerge victorious, you will get a chance to capture the Pokemon in a truly dynamic catch sequence. The Pokemon that you can take on in Max Raid Battles also vary depending on where you are in the wild area and the state of the weather. Among these different Pokemon are some that can only be caught after you defeat them in Max Raid Battles. So we hope trainers will join forces and test their skills against the variety of Pokemon. Yo, I don't know. I mean, that's cool. ...cooperative four-player gameplay against a single Pokemon, which is a first for the main series of Pokemon games. It's going to be a ton of fun to use your Nintendo Switch system's local wireless functionality to tackle these battles with friends in person and experience the excitement together. You can also connect okay. with other players over the internet to enjoy playing with other trainers from all around the globe. So mm -hmm. I hope you'll try max raid battles with all sorts of other players. Next, I would like to introduce you to the people you'll encounter on your adventure. This guy is the greatest trainer in the gallery. What's up with the quality? Ah, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this quality? His name is Leon. I better fix that. Leon. He, his design looks horrible. What's up with his face and his hair? His popularity is only enhanced by his shining personality, winning him the adoration of trainers across the region. It's no exaggeration to say that he is the most prominent trainer in all of Galar. The champion has a younger brother. I don't like the way he even looks. Rivals. His name is Hop. Hop dreams to Hop. one day become champion just like his elder brother. And he trains vigorously every day towards this goal. His journey through the Galar region begins on the same day as yours. Okay. On your journey, you and Hop will receive a great deal of support from these two characters. Oh, she's hey, that's waifu. Is the professor of the Galar region? Not her. Not <laughs> well, I mean, hey, she could be waifu too. Hey, Sonia is her. She's probably make some good ass cookies. As her, <laughs> her abundant wisdom and sound advice will surely come in handy throughout your adventure. All right. I thought this was going to be like something cool, like a soccer mode. It's Next just a normal Pokemon battle, just everybody's bigger. Ah, it feels gimmicky to me. I'm sure there's more to it. I'm, by, I'm probably just like kind of complaining. These gym stadiums are constructed in very special locations that allow for Pokemon to be Dynamax. The gym leaders also have extremely powerful Dynamax Pokemon on their teams, so you will need to counter them. With some of your own. Battles between two Dynamax Pokemon are explosive and will cause the energy and excitement in the stadium to reach its peak. Let me introduce one of the gym leaders to you. This is the right. type expert, Milo. This so are these these big battles, these Dynamax battles? He doesn't have a nose. Tenacious fighting style to continue your journey. Bro, what happened to his nose? Look forward to facing many more heated battles yep. against gym leaders over the course <laughs> of your adventure. He looks weird. He's shown up quite a bit today. But I have one more video I would like you to see. 
Of course. You're Nintendo, you always do this. Not actual game footage, of course. I'm already I'm already not interested. No, this looks cool. What is this? Damn. What the fuck? Now this looks detailed. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, he's the is he is this Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield? Oh. Oh, okay. So those were the legendaries. The two Pokemon you saw in the video just now are in fact legendary Pokemon of the Gala region, called Zacian and Zamazenta. Zamazenta. <laughs> what a mouthful. Zacian and Zamazenta. What did they say? Zamia and Zamazenta? Zambia? Is that what it's called? So I was like, they look so bad, damn. There are many more Pokemon and interesting characters for you to discover in the Galar region. We're putting everything we've got here at Game Freak into making Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield a game that everyone around the world will enjoy. Mm-hmm. Please look forward to it. Thanks to all of our guests from Game Freak. <sighs> Finally, I would like to announce the We got a lot to talk about. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will be available on November 15th, 2019 as a global simultaneous release. And starting today, okay. you can pre-order a special double pack. Stay tuned for more Oh, that's cool. I hope you I do like that. They should have been doing that years ago. Double pack? Thank you for watching. Somebody in the chat said Pokemon Liger. <laughs> I like glance at it. Cool. All right. Let's talk, guys. Let's talk. My game card hasn't been inserted, so that's already a problem. We already got we already got some problems going on with this stream, so. Let's turn it back over to my chat, dude. Let's see who was all here. <clears throat> my mic was delayed? Somebody said my mic was delayed. Um, yo, Ricardo Jr., what's up, man? Dominic is in here. We got Sam Osumo. Uh, Miguel Games. Tash, what's going on, Tash? Dominic, Sam Osumo, Mafia. Um... Wait, wait, wait. You guys are saying my mic is delayed? I'm, like, looking at this, too. Because I'm, I'm trying to catch up on all the chat. Feels like mobile. Why? Do you really think people will help you considering they want to be the best? Yeah. That's weird. Hop is one of my homie street names. Hey, yo, Hop! What's good? <laughs> Yo, trending over, he says, yo, I haven't seen a notification from you in the longest time. You probably won't remember me. I changed my name and picture. I used to be Princess Allure. I legit just came in to say hi. Yo, what's going on, uh, Princess Allure? Why'd you change it to trending over? That's interesting, but uh, welcome to the stream regardless. What's going on, uh, uh, Thomas Abello? How you doing, man? Uh, they're really running out of Pokemon ideas for Pokemon, huh? I thought the Pokemon looked fine. Um, let's talk for a little bit. So the design of the Pokemon, that looked fine. I don't see... Oh, God, it still says I'm playing Persona. Um, uh, I don't know. We're just going to leave it blank. Um, so let me talk about... I, I don't, I don't want to be the, the negative. Let's talk about the positives. Let's talk about the positives. <clears throat> I love the way the Pokemon looked. That 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 one Pokemon that looked kind of edgy. It was like an edgy black bird, and it had like it had like armor on the chest plate or something like the breastplate. And I was like, "Yo, that looks cool." The Pokemon designs. At, what the hell? 
Yo, get the hell out of here, dude. We'll watch this shit, Mario Maker. Um, it was just weird. It felt strange. It felt uh empty. No, 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 not the negatives. Let's talk about the positives first. I said I was gonna talk about positives. So first thing, it sucks because I think I had more negative things to say about this than positive. Unfortunately, um, something just fe- I feel like this direct shouldn't have happened. I feel like we should have only gotten this direct. I feel like we should have gotten this direct later on. I feel like there was there was too little to show us. And the shit that they did show us looked so alpha. Like it looked out. It looked like it was like bare bones minimum. If the game it looks anything like that, I'll be a little disappointed. That game felt empty. Nah, fuck it, dude. We're going to talk about the shit I didn't like, man. I don't care. When I was watching that trailer, the entire time I was thinking when they were walking around that area was like, this whole area looks like, it looks empty. It looks like, it reminded me of DX on GameCube. Yeah, like it just, it didn't remind me of anything like special. Like, this is a Nintendo Switch. This thing, bro, this Nintendo, like, have y'all seen Starlink? Let me tell you about, Starlink's got some pretty good graphics. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, beautiful graphics. Uh, uh, what else, what else? That, that, um, Setsuna's Revenge, or Setsuna's Hellblade or something, whatever that game is called. Crazy good graphics. Bayonetta 2, visually really beautiful game. Fuck! Pokemon Let's Go looked better than that game. In, in, when it comes to visually, I don't know why the game looks like, like, graphically, it looks like Pokemon Let's Go looks better than that game. I'm not even lying. It's like, they, Pokemon Let's Go has a little more of a cartoony look like i know they almost look the same but like it's a slightly more cartoony looks like they're they're trying to make it look a little better but for some reason it looks so bland and empty this console i know it has potential to run a lot of shit but why is it that that game looks like it looks a little weird the legendaries are really lackluster compared to the past ones they literally I, I i what i didn't like is that they're they're like kind of like latios and latias i hate gender variations of of the same design even though i don't think those pokemon were gender variations at all but i hate that they looked they looked plain everything looks so plain and not like special there's nothing magical about this one then again, at the end of the day, they look too similar. Yes, that's another thing, Days. I feel like I'm literally just either buying a guy with a shield face or a guy that holds a sword in his mouth. You know what I mean? Or a monster that does any of this. How's the one with the sword eat? It puts the sword down. And then it eats. I'm, I'm kidding. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm looking at I'm trying to like read up. Uh... Let's talk about it. Yo, anybody that I didn't say hello to in the chat, I'm really sorry. Uh, Seven, Acid, Soul Dandy, Thomas, Feza, Pro Pixel Player. Um, I hope all you guys are doing well. I'm sorry if I didn't say hello to you right away. Um, I was super unprepared. I woke up. Yo, thank. Shout outs to like Nintages, dude. I was sleeping. I was passed out. And I literally had opened my eyes around like eight. 8.15 I got up I was like rubbing my eyes I was checking my phone and then like Nin sent me a message was like yo you doing anything for the direct I was like wait yeah I am I am gonna do something for the direct like this is my face I was like yeah 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 I'll do something he was like oh well it starts in 30 minutes I was like oh shit does it I didn't even know it was today I didn't even know it was today it started in 30 minutes and I was like I had to I'm not even this this I know this this I don't I'm honestly I'm not prepared for this stream I was like totally passed out um yeah guys um but yeah back to this direct the I would say the Hmm. Oh, what are we doing after? Uh, I'll tell you in a second. I would say the the uh, the legendaries just didn't were just a little lackluster. 
the Dynamax Pokemon battles. So you're you're in these raids with people. And there's so many questions. They said only one person gets the Pokemon. So is it like the person who hosts the raid can get the Pokemon? Or is it just random? Or is it that it's all based on skill? That like one person is going to get it. And I don't know. I don't know. Um, back to positives. You can link it up with friends, which is kind of cool. It's kind of giving. It's promoting some teamwork. Uh, I think some of. I think the main character looks cool. The Pokemon designs were probably my most impressive thing. Impressed thing. I felt like they were very simple, but that was a that was the good thing. They weren't. They weren't really like trying too hard. Like that sheep. What was it called? I can't remember. That big ass like sheep Pokemon. That thing was adorable. I was like, whoa. That like low key already is like one of my favorites. Like that. That's a really cool looking Pokemon. I was really excited for that. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, Wulu. That's what it was called. Hey, yo, shout out to Liv. For, yo, Liv already got the, she already got the Pokemon list in her head, dude. She knows. Yeah, Wulu looked awesome. I already want a plushie of that thing. Like, I was like, oh my, I don't know why. It's such a, I feel like it's no different from, like, Mareep? 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 You know that Pokemon? It's like the electric sheep. There's really no difference between that Pokemon and this one. But this one just looks like it's it's more like it's more cute. It's like designed better. I don't know. It just looks more cute. Mario Kart gamer, relax, man. Please don't demand me to play games. Just wait. We're talking right now. Um, everyone gets a copy, but only one can Dynamax against it. Oh, one can Dynamax against uh, against it, but everybody gets a copy of the Pokemon. Okay, that's all right. I'm okay with that idea. It looked like Flaffy almost. I'm saying that in the most absurd way, but close enough. No, nah, I, I agree, Fezza. Um, Harlem Glowtrotter hair got me, though. Oh, yeah, I love that Pokemon. It's a freaking, like, plant Pokemon that gets an afro. And I was like, I, I love these Pokemon designs. These are actually really good. I think these are cool. They're simple. They're simple. They're not, they're not trying to go for these crazy designs. Like, I feel like somewhere between Pokemon X and Y and Pokemon pokemon the like yeah x and y black and white and sun and moon those designs for those pokemon got way too crazy like they they got they got to a point where i i, I just became disinterested um i don't know view it looked oh wait no i just heard that uh i'm sure it looks bare bones because they don't want to reveal so much I, I i know and at the end it even said that um gameplay was not final which is like Okay, that's good. And I know Nintendo, they'll, they'll, they'll probably clean it up a little bit. Something about it felt a little barren to me. And it was, they were also, they, yeah, they also weren't clear of how you encounter Pokemon. They, they, on the first trailer, they kind of made it seem like when you encounter Pokemon, you uh, walk around in the grass and you run into Pokemon. But on this trailer, for some reason, when the characters walk around, you saw Pokemon just kind of like, you know, fluttering the fields like you know you, you would you would see like I, I forgot what they showed but i think they showed like a gyarados in the wild or a snorlax that was just like laying in the grass and it's like okay so do some pokemon only show up in the wild or is it you you is it is it a, a aesthetics thing that they just have pokemon walking around the wild so it doesn't feel empty can you actually walk into these pokemon and encounter them in a wild battle these are like the questions that kind of like yeah milita uh, milita uh, tick militic in the it was in the water too. Breath of the Wild world map it looks huge yeah it looks like it's a huge map it's a lot to explore. I'm excited like I think it's gonna be cool but there's there's yeah I'm sure going in there with some concern because I you know I, I have a passion for Pokemon um, maybe not as big of a passion as i used to or towards the newer games but i do still have a passion towards like the idea and concept of the game so i i'm really excited to see what they're gonna do in, in when you know come no november i think or december whenever it comes out um i hope there there's that one leak that's true if you don't mind me sharing uh what's the what's the leak yeah go for it i mean honestly i take leaks with a grain of salt i honestly don't even listen to it um but if they they do that 
if there if there's a leak and it's true, that's cool. Going back to Kalos, Kalos region. Kalos was X and Y. Kalos region. Yeah, that's Pokemon X and Y. Oh, oh, so you're saying you'll be playing this game and you'll beat it? Like, it'll be like Pokemon Gold, where you go, instead of going to Kanto, you go to Kalos? Oh, that would be fucking cool. Because that, that would probably make this game humongous. You'd probably be able to explore all of this area, and then, like, you, you finally beat this fucking game, and then they just send you on a ship to Kalos? I'd be like, what? That would be hype. Hold on. Dude, that's my alarm clock. You hear that? Hey, you hear that alarm clock? That's my that's my fucking alarm clock to wake up to to start preparing to get to start streaming. I wasn't supposed to stream until like ten o'clock today, ten thirty. I usually I've been trying to stream at ten thirty. Hold on, let me turn my alarm clock off, guys. <laughs> Uh, in my opinion, Kalos needs a re-exploration. Kalos was cool. I actually really liked Kalos. I, I think I thought that was like I liked X and Y a lot. X and Y might be one of my favorite Pokemon games next to Gold and Silver. Yeah, honestly, I think I put my 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 order as Gold and Silver, and then yo, can we do a fucking Pokemon tier list? Oh, dude, you could totally do this. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Guys, let's do something fun. Yo, guys. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make a Pokemon tier list right now. Can you move these around? Oh, that's so awesome. Yo, dude, so we could totally make a tier list of Pokemon. This is awesome. Hold on. Let's. You guys want to do this real quick? All right, hold on. I'm going to pull up. I don't have my dual monitor set up because I have my Nintendo Switch on my other monitor right now. So I'm going to pull it up on my phone in the chat. And just see what you guys, I want to see your guys' opinion on, um, on my tier list that I'm about to, I'm about to craft. Now, granted, there are, there are a few Pokemon games on here that I have actually never played. So, I may not touch those. Yeah, I'm not going to touch those. The ones that I've never played. Hold on. He said no judgment. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so in terms of design, in terms of in terms of design, uh, just enjoyment in general, what I personally like, basically what I personally like. Um, we're gonna make this more of a preference thing. All right, so S S tier S tier, it's clear. Gold and silver have to go in S tier. Um, it's fucking gold and silver, dude. Like they're 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 got like they're they're really good games. The, it was the first game that you could breed Pokemon. It was the first one that you could travel to a different region. It was the first one that introduced. Um, I think they had the did they have the beauty contest in this one? I can't remember, but I know gold and silver were like revolutionary, crazy good. Like these were some pretty good games. 16 badges yeah like that's what that's already s tier go on a second and, and come back to <laughs> tier list god damn it <laughs> emeralds a um emerald emerald i would when i put emerald at a tier um i did play emerald i enjoyed it i like that whole bo battle coliseum thing yeah well, let's put emerald in a tier i respect that you know what's funny i'm actually gonna put ruby and sapphire in You know, a lot of people talk a lot of shit about Gen 3's Pokemon. Um, the story was stupid. I have a personal really good memory with this this game. Like, I remember when I got it. I got it at a time when I was really dry on GBA games. And this sparked up, like, the interest to play, like, Pokemon and, like, like, like GBA games again. I remember I was kind of getting older where, like, Pokemon games were slightly getting disinteresting to me. But, like, only slightly. And this game just sparked rekindled that fire and i was like i fucking love pokemon actually um let's go in order though before i had to pick out some of my favorites so you know what let's put ruby and sapphire at b tier 
I don't think it's a bad game, but we'll put it at B tier. I think Emerald obviously was like the perfected version of it, but yeah. Mm. Emerald is S because you can't get all the legendaries in Ruby and Sapphire. That is true. That is true. I think the reboot for Auras was slightly better. Now, I've heard some bad things. People, everybody that I've, because I've watched a few tier lists of this, of this actually, um, a lot of people put this shit on D tier. Now, I've never played these. I've, or no, not this one, not this one. This, no, no, no. Why did, why did I put that there? That wasn't the same Pokemon game. Uh, where is it? Where is it? The Omega Ruby and Sapphire. Wait, Ultra, Sun and Moon. Where is Omega Ruby? Yeah, here it is. Omega Ruby and Sapphire. I'm sure they're like improved games. They're, they're, I, I'm, I'm going to put them at B tier by, by default because I haven't played them, but I assume they're legit just remakes of the original two. So if I'm going to put Ruby and Sapphire at B, I think it's only fair to put these two at B, uh, at, uh, B tier as well. Okay, so Heart Gold and Soul Silver, that's obviously S tier. They were remakes, but they're just remakes of an already incredible game. So um, where the fuck is... Oh, Soul Silver. Okay, Soul Silver. Um, without Pokemon Red and Blue, we wouldn't even have Pokemon. So by default, Pokemon Red and Blue has to go on A tier. I definitely think I gotta, I gotta put, I gotta put Pokemon Red and Blue at A tier for sure. Um, yo, Miju, what's up? How you doing, Miju? Certain things are removed from RS. Yellow version is S tier. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Miju, did you like the Direct? Miju, did you only stream the, the reaction of the Direct? I'm, I'm just doing this tier list, but I think I'm actually going to end the stream. I was going to rush myself and kind of play Mario Kart 8, but I'm, I, I'm honestly not in the mood to play Mario Kart 8, and I really only put it on that thumbnail because I was in a rush, and I was panicking, and I didn't have anything because I was sleeping. But my plan this morning was actually just to release a video. <laughs> so i actually have a video that i'm gonna release after this this stream um yeah i'm probably gonna release the video in like 30 minutes so i'll probably release this video soon after we finish this tier list so let's look at this tier list oh you're streaming at noon nice okay yeah that's what i should have did i should have just streamed the reaction and then turn my maybe you know what i might do i might not upload this stream i think i'm gonna edit this stream and make it into a video as well i've been really interesting interested in making videos lately again so i think i'm gonna actually not upload this stream i'm gonna cut cut and chop up this stream and make the tier list and reaction into a uh into a video i think that'll be fun i did ramble a lot at the end hey that's what i'm doing right now it's about to be the end of the stream but you know what we got this tier list to me so pokemon fire red and leaf green are definitely s tier for me um these 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 are probably the only ones that are reach s tier these are the only ones that will reach well ah is it too is it bad to have too many things on s tier is that what do you guys think is there is it bad to have too many things at s tier things that i think are god like wait let's put pokemon red and all right let's put these two here in a tier they were good but would i go back and play them again maybe maybe i would um x x and y has to be s tier for me because they were just they were just it's the first pokemon we got that was in 3d like our core rpg it was the first one we got in 3d it was so dope dude the, the graphics the the characters the, the the story wasn't terrible for what i remember but then again i don't really remember too much but i don't remember hating the story so maybe i it wasn't that bad i don't know i'm not too crazy uh, i'm pretty i'm pretty interesting you you put that in s tier i have good i think a lot of this too i'm attaching a lot of these games to memories i have Maybe I should look at this more from a game design. Maybe X and Y was really just... Maybe X and Y was, was A tier. And I'm just hyping it. Because I think the only one that belongs really in S tier is Gold and Silver. Gold and Silver is just like, what the fuck is this? This is like, it's too good. I mean, there are a lot of godlike Pokemon games in my opinion. Yeah, I loved X and Y. Uh, it, all right, X and Y, we got to put we gotta put aside. We got to put X and Y aside. We can't, we can't judge it right now because it's too hard. All right, let's let's talk about Pokemon Black and White. Now, I'm putting Pokemon Black and White um, at D tier. I just didn't like it. I put I I, I actually I actually didn't own it. Um, 
uh, a friend of mine was trying to convince me that Pokemon Black and White was so good, and I hated the design of the Pokemon. I hated the way they looked. Uh, the story took place like in America, and it had a little more of a darker story. I think that was cool, but I just didn't really like it. At most, maybe I could move it to C tier, but I don't know. Um, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Now, Platinum, I'm actually going to put at C tier just because I I, um, I lost interest in, in Platinum really quickly. However, I played a lot of Diamond and Pearl. So I'm going to put Diamond and Pearl at A tier for sure. Um, let me look at some of these, these comments. I didn't even play Black and White yet. Yeah, Black and White 2 was slightly better, but god yeah pokemon in tier list is so difficult to make it's so difficult to make because you want to you love these games like x and y is still going to be a hard one now ultra sun and moon now i have like a pref i have like a personal opinion about sun and moon why it's going in d, and d tier it's because i thought this game was fucking stupid like i thought ultra sun and moon i was like you guys literally just like i hate sequeled pokemon games i think those are really stupid to make I'm like, just make a third version. Don't make a sequel. Don't like... Because I thought the original Sun and Moon was pretty good. I think original Sun and Moon definitely belongs in um, B tier. Yeah, I would definitely put Sun and Moon... Where's Moon? Oh, yeah. Pokemon Sun and Moon was definitely B tier. It Like I said, it was a game that like rekindled the spark for Pokemon again. I hadn't played a Pokemon game uh, be before Sun and Moon. I hadn't played a Pokemon game since... What was the last one I had played? Was it Platinum? Because I did play Platinum, but like... Yeah, I guess Platinum. I guess that's kind of like everyone... Else. Yeah, yeah, because I didn't play Black and White. So yeah, I hadn't played since Platinum. I wasn't a huge fan. Um, So yeah, Pokemon Black and White 2, like... I'll put it in C tier if, I, if, if, if apparently it was better. Maybe maybe Black and White is a version that I need to like play to... um. Maybe it's a, it's a Pokemon game I need to play to... uh. To make a proper tier list. I loved every single Pokemon game, but I'm never getting that Let's Go game because I'm old-fashioned. But Let's Go was good. Let's Go was like... Let's Go is like borderline as good as Yellow. Not It's not as good as Yellow because Yellow is just... I don't know. Yellow is just like a fucking... <laughs> yellow is like almost perfect. Almost. Uh, yellow definitely goes in S tier. Pokemon Let's Go, I would definitely put in B tier. I don't think it's a bad game. I don't think it's a bad game at all. I think it introduced such... It, it, in fact, I think it, it introduced so many cool mechanics that, like, made Pokemon interesting again. They teased the whole region hopping things. And they just left you in the Alola, Aloha region. <laughs> Let's Go is A tier. Really good remake. Would you put Let's Go in A tier? I put a lot of hours. I don't know. How many hours do I have in it? I guess that's the real question. How many hours do I have? Let me look at my... Do I even have... Have I been... I don't think I even have that game recently played, so it's not going to show me. Yeah, it's not going to show me when was the last time I even played Pokemon. Yeah, it was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I can't even see when was the last time I played Pokemon, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, I totally, I totally enjoyed that game. Let's look. What else we got? All right, so we got we still have X and Y and Crystal. Now, Crystal, um, you know what's funny? I have a really, I have a really unpopular opinion about Crystal because I actually didn't like Crystal because I actually thought that whole legendary thing running away was really fucking annoying. I thought it was really annoying. I thought the whole idea of like the legendary dogs really pissed me. I did not like the legendary dogs like Entei. Suicune, Raikou, oh, all, Raikou, whatever his name is, or whatever, the lightning one. I hated those Pokemon. Why is Platinum C, but Diamond and Pearl are A? Because it's, like I said, I'm basing a lot of this off of, like, um, a lot of, I'm basing this a lot off of, like, personal history with the game. Um, Diamond and Pearl, well, I played Pearl and I really, really enjoyed it. And I remember putting a lot of hours. But when Platinum came out, I felt burnt out by Pearl. So Platinum felt boring to me, if that makes any sense. When I got Platinum, I wasn't interested in the story. I wasn't interested in the the just the game in general. So I think I had got burnt out by the time I got to Platinum. So I remember when, that my experience with Platinum was like, ugh, I don't like this game that much. Yeah, so 
Um, X and Y, uh, as much as I know probably people are going to disagree, X and Y is going S tier. I'm sorry. I'll put I'll put Pokemon Crystal at like... Because I personally didn't like Crystal. I'll put it at B tier because I don't. it's probably not a bad game. It's just I didn't finish it and I didn't really care too much about the whole mechanic of like pokemon running away you notice they never introduced that that shit really again i mean they did but they it wasn't as serious as like the legendary dogs i i hated that shit man um but yeah guys so this is this is my pokemon tier list i'm pretty sure a lot of people would dis disagree and dislike this tier list like this tier list probably looks fucking trash to some people um if i really had my own choice I would probably put these two in D tier because I don't I don't really like remakes and reboots that much, but then again they did really they re they did these reboots really well Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver and Fire Red Leaf Green these are probably like the best remakes I've ever seen in Pokemon like these are so good these four right here are probably the Pokemon games I put the most hours in into um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver actually no I think I put more into the originals than the the updated ones but. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I definitely have um, have definitely put some some time into it. X and Y would be D for me. Well, Lexi, I mean, uh, you you have like a different. I know you have you guys have a lot of like different tastes on like Pokemon. You you and like I know Nintages too. You guys are probably looking at it a little more from a technical standpoint of view. I'm looking at this from what was the experience i got from the game not necessarily like oh well i didn't like they did this this mechanic it was bad because it's i'm seeing it more as in like i remember having a really good time with this because of this and this game helped me go through this part of my life so it automatically deserves respect and the second thing i'm looking at is and mechanically this this and that because if you if you i think if you if you base too many things technic too much if you base your opinions too much on technicality, you become too critical because there, when, you, when you look at anything technically, there's always so many, there's more problems than, than, than positives. It's easier to point out negatives than it is to point out positives. That's what I hate about uh, a lot of people who have like super, super, super strong opinions on games. And I mean, when I say super strong, I mean like, People are like borderline angry when 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 you when you uh, even mention liking a game they don't like. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just my opinion. My tier list would, my tier list would be ass because all the old shit would be S tier and A tier, and the new shit would be D and F. What do you consider D and F though? I mean, what what do you consider new though? Anything after? I mean, technically. Anything after red, uh, red, uh, blue, and yellow are are new. You know what I mean? They're the newer Pokemon. Um, anything after platinum, so black and white and up. That's kind of when Pokemon like died a little for me in the inside. Hold on. Um, read my last comment. I explain why I don't like Let's Go games. Okay, let me read it. Let's go games. Uh, no, I like where weakening Pokemon by battle and catching them. Not a fan of the lame named elemental moves for Pikachu and Eevee, but that's just me. You don't like the names of the moves they do? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, the lame name elemental moves? Or, or are you just saying that you think they're, they're named really poorly and you don't like that they gave elemental moves to Pikachu and Eevee? Ah, I think that's what you what you said. Okay. It died for me in the little ways. It's like, yeah. Uh, ain't even lying. My Wi-Fi was the one I have most of my hours logged in. That's kind of the same with me. X and Y, I have more hours. The, the, the Pokemon games I have the most hours on, actually, to be honest, would probably be X, Y, Red, Blue... No, in order, I think, I, I think Red and Blue, I have the second most hours yeah i think the first most hours i have are x and y yeah first would be x and y second would be red and blue then gold and silver then leaf leaf green and fire red yeah those are probably the pokemon games i have the most hours in
Splishy Splash. Um, powerful move. Lame name. <laughs> Yo, Splishy Splash is godlike, dude. But yeah, that's a. It's kind of a stupid name. I get you. I get you. But I don't think that's a reason to hate the game. I, I don't know. Not hate the game, or just don't like the game. I don't think that. I guess having a Pikachu do a water move really isn't that big of a deal for me because it's like they were surfing Pikachu. You could get on Pokemon Yellow. Like, that was a thing. And then like. Pikachu learning a flying move, okay, I get it, I get it. Pikachu learning like a, a, a flying move is kind of lame, but like Pokemon, Pikachu doesn't really need to learn a flying move anyway. But yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna actually end the stream now. Uh, I wanted to stream, like early in the morning today but like i don't know i just wasn't feeling mario kart 8 when i woke up like i woke up and i heard about the direct and i was even thinking to myself uh maybe you shouldn't stream today because you were gonna just plan to make a video and i kind of rushed to make this stream so like i said i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna archive this stream and um when i we're gonna archive it but i'm not gonna actually put it on my channel i'm probably just gonna keep it unlisted and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna re-upload a highlights clip of a uh, pokemon tier list maybe maybe i'll do that then again i might get some hate for this tier list dude people people will probably just do not agree with this tier list. They're like why is platinum here why isn't that why platinum's a good game black and white we're so good i don't know whatever but anyway guys i'm gonna get out of here um i'm probably gonna do a stream tonight as well i'm gonna do a stream tonight uh i'm probably not gonna do one right now i, th I guess what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna upload a video yeah, I think I'm going to upload my video in a few minutes after I, I, I uh, turn this off. So when I upload my video, guys, I got a really good video coming out. It's a skit. I got a, a new skit video that I worked on for hours last night on. And um, not hours. Well, yeah, no, I worked on it for hours. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. It's a it's a Smash Brothers skit. I think it's pretty funny. Um, I think it's a lot more improved in quality from my last video. It's a little more engaging and exciting, and I, I think it was pretty funny. I got some good laughs at it, even watching it myself. So um, I'm going to actually get out of here. Yo, my thoughts on Pokemon Sleep? I'm sleeping when I'm looking at Pokemon Sleep. I think the idea is stupid, but I do get why Nintendo is doing it, why Pokemon wants to do it. It's, it's, a, it's to promote healthy sleeping habits. They're trying to go for the gimmick again. I get it. It's Pokemon. It's Nintendo. They like to do weird, different shit. That's fine, but whatever. It's not really for me. If it's free and I happen to have it, yeah, sure, I'll try it out. But if it's something I got to go out and buy, nah, it's not happening, man. Anyway, guys, I'm getting out of here. I'll catch you guys later. I love you all so much. Make sure you red out, kick the like button if you haven't already. And as always, stay beautiful. I'm going to see you guys tonight. Please, guys, make sure you stay tuned. I got a video coming out in like 10 minutes. Please turn on your notifications and watch out for that video. Take care, guys. Thank you.